Awesome. Yeah. So now you said something on your Facebook, and I, I sort of noticed that you said that very honestly, sometimes you play an empty club, mm. and sometimes things just don't go right, mm -hmm. and I can definitely relate to that. You know what I'm talking about with technology? Yeah. Sometimes the CDJ turns off in the middle of my set. That's happened to me a couple of times. Right. And it's because maybe someone stepped on the cable at the back, or the sound guy has gone out for a drink, and then... Not paying attention. Yeah, right, he's yeah. gone out for a smoke, and then I don't. I'm stuck there, like with a with a crowd of of uh, whistling people. Um, and then you know there are, you know, to be honest with you, there are some. I still do some shows now, and I'm, I'm and some people left comments on that post like, "How does Hook play to empty rooms?" But it still happens. Like every now and then. I mean, it is rare now, but to be realistic, like there are sometimes when I when I play in in air, in cities that I've never played before, and I'm trying to get into new. All around the world it could be in asia it could be in europe it could be anywhere even in australia like every now and then those shows still pop up we're like damn you know maybe i should you know i should be doing better or you know just it kind of makes you um you know just consider yourself lucky when the good shows do happen that's yeah. what that's what i meant by that that post oh, okay so when you when you show up and like the party where you played the Thomas Gold party was so late in the morning or early in the morning and you're yeah. playing techno music and then yeah. you may be entering into a room and it's an empty room and not in Miami, but some other place. So how prepared are you? Like, you know, because you mentioned that you're playing heavier techno, so you must have given some thought to the fact that I may end up someplace where I'm going to be playing these records, not just an hour, an hour and a half set that you would repeat at these different places. Yeah, I mean, I'm a, I was a DJ before I was a producer. And so I've, I love the challenge of playing a good set. So where that, that leads to is that um, I have a lot of music that I carry with me. So, you know, in my US, in my thumb drive, my USB stick, I have 500 records. Um, some guys may only have like 30 records in their USB stick. So where, no matter where they go, they play the same 30 records. Yeah. But I'm not like that. I want to, I, I enjoy, like I have a, a techno folder in my, in my, on my stick. I have like, you know, even like uh future bass, you know, a lot of different sounds. So if there's a moment that calls for a record like that, I'm always prepared. Yeah, you're ready for it. It's interesting how you see or how you mention these different genres or what genres you're mentioning. Yeah. You're not necessarily saying bass or trance music, but techno and future bass. Yeah. Like, interesting. Uh, it's, so, hard. it's hard to define because sometimes there are tracks that are like yeah, a little exactly. bit of both, but you have to put them in a separate folder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DJ problems.